Hey y'all, CB here at NBS Welding. Next little job we got to do, <clears throat> going to be welding some cast aluminum. This is a, a cast aluminum cylinder head off a dirt bike. Uh, my buddy, the engine builder down the road, uh, was was working on this and, and he found this pitting. You can see here, uh, trying to show you where... Right around the edge of the combustion chamber here, there's some pretty severe pitting. And he told me to just go ahead and run a bead around there, you know, on that inside lip of the combustion chamber first. And then and then weld over the pitting on the outside. So before we do that, I want to throw this in real quick. Anybody that would be willing to, to support the NBS Weldon YouTube channel by buying a t-shirt, they're $25, and you can send an email request to Tina to uh, nbswelding at aol.com. And uh, I, I hope you'd, you'd like to buy a t-shirt. I really appreciate it. Also, in the description of my videos, there's links to our Amazon storefront. So if you use that link when you go to Amazon, you can uh, look at the products I use and then buy whatever products you want, and that helps the channel. And also, uh, there's links to all our other affiliates like Art Captain. And uh, if you, you buy anything from Art Captain, use the promo code NBS Welding 5%, you get 5% off your purchase, and that. That helps the channel too. So I wanted to use the welding positioner and rotate this thing. And I'm just putting a weight on the foot pedal. Normally when I, when I weld on something in the weld positioner, I'll use my foot to, to operate uh, when I want it to turn and, and when I don't. But now if you're going to TIG weld, you've already got to use one foot to, uh, to operate the heat on your TIG machine. So I'm just going to get it at a speed I think is going to work and leave it turn. And the first thing I did was I went all the way around one full rotation with the TIG. And I didn't form a puddle. I just etched it and cleaned it with the TIG torch and the gas and a little bit of heat. Uh, and then you can see here now I'm, I'm adding bead. I'm adding rod. And I went all the way around that inner combustion chamber and solidified there uh, at that ledge pretty much and this this makes it so that when i'm welding there where the pitting's at on the flat part of the head i'm not going to be uh, worrying about weld falling over the cliff and and what i'm actually doing as i do this second pass is i'm focusing on just running from that weld bead that i just made out to the outside as far as i can go I'm not worried about putting too much on it. I'm just worried about making sure my weld's good and solid. Uh, he can machine it down, make it perfect, as long as I got good solid material there. So, we got two passes on it. And you can see here that, like I said, I ran the bead around the inside there. And then I ran a second pass more around the outside, just trying to go out far out as far as i could go without interfering with those ports or the holes now my buddy sent me this image uh just not long at all after i had uh after i had uh dropped it off he already chucked it up and and machined it down and as we uh as we look here and zoom in, you know, we're, we can be proud to say that we don't have any porosity. There's no more pitting. There's no voids. Uh, you know, any voids or porosity in that weld would, uh, would show up when you machined it. And he's machined this, and he's got a good solid cylinder head. So we got her fixed, and I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, like I always say, Learn how to work with what you got. That way you always have everything you need.